is Sam Causey. My proper name is Wasim, but I use Sam for teaching purposes. Um, I've been teaching since 1998 here in London, Ontario. I've had my driving school for about approximately 20 years. We have uh, about 10 driving instructors, plus an office administrator that works full time to answer calls and answer inquiries um, and emails, etc. So she's full time. Um, we have both males and females on the on the on the team. Um, we're well established in the city of London. Our, uh, our reputation is very established with the road test center and the examiners there. We actually teach a lot of the road, ex road test examiners kids, and I've actually taught the examiners themselves. And I can proudly say that we've won Best of London uh, pretty cl close to 10 years in a row. Reader's choice, consumer's choice. So we're very passionate about what we do at the school. Um, like I always say, you know, we teach driving skills for today's driving environment um, and try to p make people more attentive to details and work on anticipation, to collision avoidance, um, fuel efficiency in terms of driving. So we combine it all together when we, when we teach. Um, everything is defensive driving based. Um, the Smith system, aim high, get the big picture, keep your eyes moving, make sure they see you, leave yourself an out. And the more critical part, um, scan, identify, predict, decide, execute. So we try to instill these into our students that physically teaching the kids how to drive is really honestly pretty easy for, for, uh, for what we do and my instructors, but teaching them how to think, how to anticipate, how to avoid collisions um, is really critical and adjust hopefully their attitudes towards driving that it's, it really is a life skill. It's not about one or two days, it's about a lifetime, 50, 60, 70 years potentially. Uh, I have Mandeep with me this morning. I'm going to be giving him a driving lesson, leaving from our facilities at the city plaza here. And so uh, I'll be communicating to him um, specifically as to what actions and, and sequences of, of, of actions that I want him to take, where to look. Um, it'll be in depth um, in terms of driving along, pointing out, anticipating, pointing, pointing out potential risk, uh, anticipating what people might do as well, and uh, all aspects of safe driving. So um, I'll be commenting on pretty much on everything but that can potentially be a risk for us as drivers in the direction that we're going from ahead and from behind and from the sides as well too. So Mandeep, when you're ready, um, if you've adjusted your rear view mirror and your side mirror, so yeah, use two hands, frame the back window and then put your hands back on the wheel and then check the rear view. For some reason, if you don't check the rear view with your hands on the wheel, it's a different impression when your hands are dropped. So you want to see the whole back window with your side mirrors, Mandeep, controls are on the armrest. You want to see very little of the car, um, next to nothing. Um, for newer drivers, we suggest a little bit, but there's no benefit in looking at the side of your car. So we want the mirrors pushed out, as we say, winged out. With the addition of the convex mirrors, or what people call the blind spot mirrors, if you set your rear view mirror up properly and your side mirrors, you can pretty much eliminate the blind spot. Okay. Um, regardless of this fact, we'll still expect that you will shoulder check, bring your chin to your shoulder to look back, because that is what the expectation is on the road test as well. Um, so you can, your seat is okay, your steering, mirrors, head restraint, we're going to bring your head restraint up just so it centers the back of your head because uh, it's ideally that way to prevent whiplash which is the most common injury associated with crashes. Seat steering, mirrors, head restraint and ventilation so we can set that up now as well and I'll do that. And then there's three security seat belts, low on your hips, snug across your chest, door locks, we suggest locking your doors. Um, more so to the ladies, to be quite honest, to the men, I don't worry about the guys so much. Uh, seat belts, door locks, and loose objects, so we don't have anything loose that's heavy that could fly forwards, potentially. Mm -hmm. So if you're ready, we're going to proceed forward, so if you can put your foot on the brake. Put your car into reverse. Um, and we're going to back out to the, to the right, I'm uh, sorry, to the left, Mandeep, so if you can put your left signal on. We, I'll make you signal everywhere because it makes you more visible. Also, what I teach a lot of, most all our kids to do is before you move, look back over your left shoulder, check the rear view mirror, glance to the right side. And a lot of times I will literally tap that horn because the horn wakes everybody up and makes them aware of your presence. So when you're ready, you're gonna ease off the brake only a little bit, don't lose contact and start to turn that wheel to the left as you look back left as well. Okay. Um so parking brake is there too as well, my, I'm sorry. Oh. Disengage your parking brake is by your left foot, push on and push off. 
So use your left foot, there it is. And remember, don't use the gas in reverse unless it's absolutely necessary, Oh, Okay. Start turning that wheel to your left, and you turn it all the way to the left, Mandeep. Look mostly to your left, because that's where the car is going. Glance to the right side and use your right side round mirror to help with that observation. Before you stop, Mandeep, turn your wheels to the right quickly. Straighten your wheels and stop. It's always easier to straighten your wheels. Now put yourself into drive. Easier to straighten your wheels going reverse than forwards. You'll okay. fight the wheel. And you can go ahead, lift off that brake. Look ahead, chin up. As we, I like to say, raise your gaze, right? Yes. We don't want you to look low. We want... Uh, we want you to aim high. Yes. And this way you'll get the big picture. That's it. Here your steering method, it doesn't necessarily have to be hand over hand. Sometimes hand over hand is the preferred method as we teach it. Certain occasions will cause for, you know, better to just to shuffle the wheel on certain occasions where the turning radius is not so much. Okay. And it cautiously, because it's a parking garage, I'm and you're going to go to the right. Yeah, you've got to go to the right. Sorry, my bad. And you can signal here too. That's okay. it right signal here and then we'll proceed we can see the car is on so we're aware of that because we see a little bit and of exhaust right here. Okay. that's yeah. it and here comes the exit so if you can put your right signal on and let's check to the right side blind spot and come up here and then we're going to go left to get out uh, oh we can't go right i'm sorry we're still going to go further yes. to go the other way go cautiously vision then decision if you don't have vision then you cannot make that decision okay and we're going to stop here that's it and while you're waiting, check your rear view, my brother, just to see if who's approaching and there's a car approaching. Yes. So we'd like to be aware of our surroundings at all times. And we'll have to be patient because every driver individually has obviously a different skill set. Yes. That's it. Again, right signal. I mean, again, it's just more about awareness than anything else and developing good habits. If you use your signals all the time, right, right here as well, please. Signal it, check back. And then now we'll get to go left here, Mandeep. So you're going to signal left. It's a dead end to the right, but you're going to still glance for pedestrians and proceed to the left. Okay. There's a stop sign approaching, and it's a private property stop sign. So we're not saying don't stop, but you don't necessarily have to hold it for three seconds. Stop here, hold it, take a look to your left, and then proceed straight ahead to the exit where we will pay and we'll depart. Okay. That's awesome. Let's go left signal, Mandeep. Slow, cover the brakes. Watch the pedestrian. Use that mirror. So a lot of times I'll honk because we can't see to the right. Yes. And she thinks we're honking at her, but we are not. We're going to go to the lights. It's a close because of construction. You go ahead and proceed. Turn that wheel. That's, that's good. Let's turn left at the traffic lights here. Okay. Left signal's on, Mandeep. When the white line disappears, you've come to a stop right oh. there. So if you stop soon after the line disappears, guaranteed your bumper's behind the line pretty much no matter what you're driving. In terms of right now, straight ahead, oncoming traffic isn't a big issue here because it's fairly uh, negligible, except for people coming out of the VIA station. Your primary concern is pedestrians approaching from the left side and also from behind you, so you'll check your blind spot as well too. Okay. And as while we wait, I we always pay attention to the pedestrian crossing signals because they give us information, Randy, right? Yes. You see the lights change to a red light, red hand flashing or red hand solid. We mm -hmm. watch the lights go yellow, we watch them go red. We make sure the people are stopping so that before we get our green, we are already well informed as to um, they, them approaching and stopping. There go the lights yellow. So we take a look left and right, or as I like to say, do the Stevie Wonder, if you know what mm -hmm. I mean. Yes. There you go, man. You go forwards, glance to the right, look into your turn. That's it, move and turn. That's it, balance your hands and breathe. Let that wheel slide out if you can. Accelerate, check your rear view, Mandy. Lane change to the right, shoulder check as well. That's it. Leave your signal on. We'll turn right at the lights, man. Okay. Shoulder check again. That's it, my brother. Again, we've got a red light approaching, so we're going to stop when the white light disappears, and we're going to assess our vision. Full stop, hold it. Give me a little bump. Let me feel that. One, two, three, four. Look to your left. No vision. Let's improve our position. Come forwards, not aggressively. Turn your wheels to the right as you come up. Okay. And once you have vision, hold your position, Mendy. Mm -hmm. Never go further forwards than you need to so that you've left room to accommodate pedestrian, cyclists, rollerbladers, etc. Now you look to your left, come up a little bit more. It's gone green, Mendy, so you can make your turn. Okay. Look into your turn. Yeah, that's it. Chin up, look far, raise your gaze. Like you said, the, um, aiming high you see further ahead you see construction you see lanes ending um, you see debris on the road potentially as we approach we have a green light we're looking for the more important information the walking symbol we know the lights are fresh yes. look left right left and continue glance at the car to the right side just a glance 
to say, hey, we're watching you, and to deter them from possibly doing something uh, foolish or ignorant. Yes. We've got an e-bike coming up. Check your rearview mirror for me, Mandeep. Let's make a lane change to the left. Signal left, shoulder check, that's it. And in terms of technique for lane changing, Mandeep, when you can see tires in the rear view mirror and pavement, when you can see tires and pavement in the rear view, it means you have enough room to lane change. Okay. Three car lengths, if you see tires and a lot of pavement, you got a lot of room. But remember, you got to confirm your blind spot, and in most cases, we want you to accelerate with your lane changes. Okay. We only lane change to avoid the e-bike because of his pace or her pace. Yes. And as we pass the, the bike, on the straightaway, potentially we'll look at lane changing back because the right lane is considered the driving lane and the left yes. lane is considered the passing lane. Okay. So if you can come over, check your rear view, put that right signal on, shoulder check and accelerate a little bit as well. That's it, my brother, well done. We'll, we'll proceed straight at the lights. They're green, we're looking for the symbol. It's kind of hard to pick out sometimes. Yes. Um, I'm still looking for it myself. There, it's a walking symbol, we're, we're fresh to go. Look, left, right, and we're gone. Okay, good. Again, looking up far ahead to where you're going to be, 12 to 15 seconds, or pretty much as far as you, you can see, targeting your path. So always remember, you drive where you look. And this goes for everybody across the board. You look at the curb too much, you go to the curb. This guy might, was going to maybe cut it, but he won't do it now because the guy lane changed, right? Yes. Always remember, if there's a space big enough to fill a car, people will try to fill it, okay. right? And people accelerating or approaching or almost look like tailgating they may they may be lane changing here these lights are pedestrian activated if you see someone push that button cover the brake because the lights may go yellow quickly okay